Switch owners, we are but a week away from the release of Dragon's Dogma on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of people who've played this game before and for years have been hoping and waiting for maybe, you know, Dragon's Dogma 2. That'd be nice, that'd be nice. And uh, I think there's a, you know, there's a chance it might be coming a little sooner than we think. I'm gonna go through uh, every kind of bit of evidence I have an argument for it. I'm going to be trending positive, by the way. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about what a sequel might look like. Uh, but, real quick, we are doing a giveaway, guys. And uh, thank you so much. The channel has been getting a really nice sub boost lately. Thanks so much for subbing. If you guys are subs and you're coming back, thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that sub button. Like I said, we're doing a giveaway every 10 subscribers. We give away Steam code. If you want some details, you can hit the channel page up. The home video will tell you all about it. Or you can shoot me a comment down below, and I will answer any of your questions. All right, guys. So I'm going to start with the man himself, Hideki Itsuno. Uh, he was the la he was he was the director for the original Dragon's Dogma. It was kind of his vision. He's had the game in his eyes since his uh, his school days, apparently. And uh, the last game he directed before Dragon's Dogma was uh, Devil May Cry Four. And what do you know? He directed Devil May Cry Five. So he went from Dr Devil May Cry Four to directing Dragon's Dogma. And he just finished Devil May Cry, so maybe, maybe he'll be doing Dragon's Dogma 2. But in an interview, he said, I've mentioned this before, but when we started Devil May Cry, I'd gone to the people up top and said, let me make either Devil May Cry or Dragon's Dogma. I thought Devil May Cry would be the better choice right now, so did that. If I could, I would love to make Dragon's Dogma 2. It'd be awesome. So here we go. Basically, what happened was, uh, he went to the people at the top, and it seemed like he he had the go he had the green light to make Dragon's Dogma 2, uh, and he had to pick between the Devil Devil May Cry and Dragon's Dogma. He picked Devil May Cry, and it sounds like he's already gotten the green light once before. He's interested in doing it. it doesn't sound like Capcom said no. It sounds like he had the opportunity. So uh, I don't know, guys. I think there's a there's a chance. And again, he went from Devil May Cry 4 to Dragon's Dogma. Maybe we'll see Devil May Cry 5 to Dragon's Dogma 2. But let's talk about our boy, uh, Juan Takauchi, senior producer at Capcom. He said in an interview recently, quote, We're currently working on a title that will make our fans think, wow, they're making that. Now, I know that... And it, it was directed at AAA games. That's the thing. So... You can't pull some obscure Capcom game on this. It was directed at AAA games. So, you know, that caused me to think, what are Capcom's biggest franchises? And I looked it up, and what did I find? Capcom's biggest franchises are Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, Street Fighter, Mega Man, and Devil May Cry, all of which have had pretty recent releases. Mega Man had Mega Man 11, uh, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 5, Street Fighter had Street Fighter 5, Monster Hunter just had Monster Hunter World, Resident Evil not only had Resident Evil 7, but also Resident Evil 2 Remake. So all of their biggest franchises have had a game fairly recently release, and they've all been really good, and I think, I would, I would argue, unless it's going to be like Lost Planet or something, I think we're ready to go back to Dragon's Dogma. That's just me. The director's freed up. The director wants to do it. There's a big project uh, that apparently is going to be announced at E3. And here we go. I would argue Dragon's Dogma is perfectly valid. So a few more reasons why we could be seeing this. I'm going to do them kind of in rapid fire. One, I started looking for sales because I know Dragon's Dogma was slept on. But it's been re-released so many times that it makes you think. Like, it was released, and then it was re-released for the Xbox 360 and PS3 with the Dark Arisen expansion. And then it was re-released again on the PS4 and Xbox One. Then it was re-released again on the PC. And then uh, we're getting the Switch version in a week. So you would think, they keep making it. And the Switch version isn't even like a download-only thing. It's a physical, full-on release. Granted, at a great price, and everyone should buy it. Uh... But commenting on the PC version, it was hard to find sales numbers, concrete sales numbers, but the PC version 
Uh, well, suffering from lower sales, and there was almost no marketing, you have to keep in mind. Apparently, it was one of Capcom's fastest selling and one of the best three selling games uh, that they sold on PC in company's history at the time. So this was like the third best selling PC game for Capcom at the time. Granted, newer games have come out since then. This was back in 2016, but that's still... That to me says, with no marketing, that Dragon's Dogma sells. Uh, and it, it definitely has a fan base that carries the torch. Like, this will be my third time buying this game when it comes out on the Switch. But people are excited to play Dragon's Dogma. Uh, the next thing is the Switch port. Again, it's not uncommon for companies, especially Capcom, to release a previous entry to kind of, like, butter people up, to make to make it available to a demographic. Like, push the Devil May Cry HD remake out on PS4, and then a year or two later, you push out Devil May Cry 5. I know this one's a little bit of a stretch, I just thought I would throw it out there. But in March of 2019, it was announced that Netflix is bringing Dragon's Dogma uh, to an anime series. So we're gonna be getting Dragon's Dogma as an anime series, which is gonna be just stupid, because the story in that is insane, stupid good. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's kind of interesting. It's like, you, you would think if if this franchise was dead and buried, you wouldn't be doing re-releases in 2019, and you wouldn't be launching a Netflix anime. To me, to me that says that there's something bubbling in the cauldron for this one. So I think that's enough to kind of safely say I mean, don't, don't, it's not guaranteed, but I'm personally kind of getting my hopes up on this. What could this look like? Well, if you look at the history of last-gen games that Capcom made, and you look at games, the, the engine that Dragon's Dogma was made on, it was made on MT Framework Engine 2.x. Uh, this was the same engine that Devil May Cry 4 was built on. Well, that was the 1.x version. Uh, and the Resident Evil games were also made on this engine. So here we are in uh, 2019, Capcom is now using the RE engine, which was used in, again, Resident Evil game, and again, the newest Devil May Cry game. So it stands to say that we're gonna be looking at a game in the rough visual ballpark of uh, Devil May Cry 5 and Resident Evil. The interesting thing I wanted to say about this though is we've never really seen, to my knowledge, comment down below if you guys have good examples, the RE engine in a kind of open world setting, at least in Dragon or uh, Devil May Cry and Resident Evil. It's very uh, claustrophobic, lots of corridors, not very open. So it'll be interesting to see how this all performs. But hey, guys, this is to me looking fairly optimistic. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys are excited. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Again, thank you so much for all of your support lately. This has been a lot of fun the last few weeks, and uh, hopefully we keep things going. And I will catch you guys next time. Enjoy Dragon's Dogma next week, guys. Enjoy it. I will be. Take care.